Okay, everybody, so welcome back to our short series on building a niche community on the Circle platform. We have a really exciting project that is uh, now launching in November of 2021. It's a brand new uh, community for authors and artists, makers, marketers, uh, you know, teachers, coaches, anyone who wants to create small products, like very small, impactful products that you can literally create in a weekend, but that can have a really profound uh, impact on your audience, your output, and your ability to earn an amazing income doing work that you love. So the community is actually called a tiny community, and we have a whole suite of of uh, you know little mini courses and mini books and all sorts of community offerings that are skewed in this very small or tiny product oriented way. So uh, one of the things that we're doing, as you obviously know, is building a niche community uh, for our audience on Circle. And one of the things that folks who are using Circle are finding quite challenging, uh, really the only thing that I can see that uh, is I don't want to say a complaint, but sort of a limitation within the circle default setup is the ability to design your own customized version of circle visually. So to create a customized template or theme that is unique to your brand or that matches your existing branding. If you're coming into this with an existing site or service or product or course or community that you're moving on to circle. So one of the things that I discovered uh, in the last couple days is, Tammy, come here, baby. Come here, sweetie. Uh, my girlfriend's dog looks like she is into something that she shouldn't be. But one of the things that I discovered uh, in the last couple of days is a really great resource, which I'm going to share with you here. And essentially, this allows you, uh, by dint of CSS modifications, to make all sorts of, of aesthetic and visual changes to your Circle community without needing to be able to write CSS yourself. Uh, I'm certainly not a designer. And to be honest, I'm colorblind. So uh, I have real challenges, not only with the sort of CSS-oriented styling uh, as a non-designer, but also being able to orient myself color code-wise within anything that I'm working on. I'm not terribly colorblind. I, I have trouble with browns and greens and reds and oranges and yellows and that sort of stuff. So uh, this has been a huge help that we are using. Actually, you can see some of the before and after examples here. Again, this is not mine. This is a very generous member of the Circle community who created these uh, code examples that you can literally copy and paste into your own community and make these really uh, dramatic changes to the visual presentation of your site. So you can see here's what the nav bar looks like before. Here's what the nav bar looks like after. Come here, sweetie. Come on, baby. Good girl. And here are the member tabs. You know, you can see all of the various ways that you can hide and show a data that you may not want people to see. Like, for example, if you're just starting, you know, I never like to show the amount of members on a new community because it can be discouraging, not only to yourself, which I really don't care that much about, but to other people who are coming into the community. If there's like nine people as you know, in your movement, right? Like who wants to join a movement with nine other people, right? So some of these things can be really helpful in the beginning to, you know, kind of um, hide or display things that may or may not be beneficial to your brand. Here are, uh, you know, text uh, code changes, or excuse me, text styling changes, in this case, a color change. So making something like this red, you can see the default versus the resulting, uh, you know, display is changed by dint of the color that is the, the style, uh, the color style that's applied in the CSS. Again, none of this would I be able to do really easily on my own. I'd have to outsource this. And I am actually outsourcing a piece of this, but only to somebody who is going to be copying and pasting some of these code uh, CSS chunks into our uh, community and then making the visual changes predicated on a much better sense of style than I personally have 
relative to CSS and uh, so forth. So anyway, uh, if you're interested in copying this yourself or in making these changes along with us, if you're part of our community, I encourage you to come here to this landing page and you can grab all of these examples yourself and make modifications as you see fit or as they uh, match your own existing blog, brand, or business. I'd also encourage those of, of, of you who are joining us for this uh, community challenge in November to share freely. I mean, one of the things that I'm hoping people do is share their own customizations, much the way this person has so generously done. It offers those of us who don't have this particular skill set the opportunity to really quite easily make our circle communities match our own uh, you know, ideas and vision for what our community should visually look like. Okie doke. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. If you are not yet using Circle, uh, feel free to click on the Mindful Marketplace affiliate link that, we, uh, that I put into the YouTube uh, description box if you're watching this on YouTube, and I'll share a whole bunch of other things with you uh, relative to what we're building. You know, you get an invite to our our new mini course and all sorts of other stuff that I think is really, really valuable for those of us who are building communities. But you do have to sign up for a paid account on Circle. I am having an issue with people who are taking advantage, and I don't mean taking advantage, but who are signing up for some of these uh, you know, using our affiliate link on these sorts of offers and then just signing up for free trials for all these different services that we recommend. And then, you know, they don't pay for them and they want all these free resources or access to our content and community when they're just really signing up for free trials, which unfortunately is not, is not the way that um, this works. All right. So if you sign up for Circle on a paid plan, send me an email, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com, and I'm happy to send you an invite to this really exciting new community that we're building and that I think is going to be a tremendous success in 2022. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you as always for watching and have a wonderful day.